Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you could add a prefix to either a number or a text cell. Prefix will automatically appear when you type either a number or text. So first of all, control one to get into format cells. And in format cells, what you have is user-defined formats. Now, if you go to text, we'll do text first. That is the default for a text format. You need that at sign. So if I go to user defined, and let's say I want a suffix, I would go at space, and then I'll just put the UK in quotes like that. Now I've already done it for one cell here. Let's click OK to that. So if I type Steve puts UK at the end of it. Now if I wanted to do that for the whole column, control one to get into format cells, UK, OK. And then if I type Steve again, anywhere in that column is now going to have that format. Now numbers. If I highlight the whole column, column C, control one. So number, the general one, if I click on the first number so you can see one, is just a zero. So if I do that one again, so this time I want the UK to go first, followed by space and then just a zero. Like that, click OK. So this is a number. So if I go one, two, three, four, it puts UK on there. Two, 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 UK. So you can either use text or numbers. So whichever one you want, you highlight either the cell or the whole column. You do control one, come into format cells. And if you've not got any, you create your own and they will appear in user defined there. Now you've got a number one and you've got one with text. So there's your text option. You just click on these things and see what the actual default is. And then you can adjust it. Same with dates. If you just wanted that to be the date, you type a date, but you wanted that to be a day, you could change that one to be one, two, three, three Ds. And then that's jumping straight into user defined look because I've just created that. Four Ds there. I've got three Ds. Click OK to that. So if I put today's date in there, so I just did control semicolon, which I'll do in the next cell across, control and semicolon, which is today's date. But I did it in this cell, control semicolon. It's just putting Monday in there because of that format. Now, if I go back into that and change it slightly, so I go user defined and instead of three D's, just three D's, I'll do a forward slash and do two M's. See what happens when I do that one. So now it's doing the month as well. And that's how you can change the formats of any of those in that list in, con in um, control one format cells. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video. How you can create your own little prefix or suffix on a text field or a number field and then how you can just change generally some of the default formats so they all appear in in user defined so hopefully this video has been of use thank you for your time i'll catch you in the next one